PC Perspectives coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everyone, Ryan Shroud here from PC Perspective at CES 2015, checking out another Asus monitor. This is the MG279Q. Now this was actually announced earlier in the week. We actually had a news post on it. This is the 120 hertz, 2560 by 1440 um, in-plane switching screen. So this is not a TN panel. It's IPS or IPS derivative. That means very good viewing angles, both top, bottom, left, right. No issues with that. Uh, it is a high resolution, right, WQHD. 120 hertz, and interestingly, this is not a G-Sync monitor. It's not even a FreeSync monitor, technically. This is uh, just a monitor that happens to support Adaptive Sync uh, DP 1.2A+. So what that means is, after our talks with AMD yesterday, was that this will be able to run variable refresh on AMD graphics cards. You know, They said they're not going to blacklist anything, so this is, this is going to be able to run that. Now, it has a, a maximum refresh of run 20. We're working on what the minimum refresh is. They're kind of thinking it might be in the 40 or 30 range, but they're going to get back to us on it. Um, so I'm really excited to see what this monitor will do, especially now that we know it's going to be priced at $599, and it will be available late in Q1. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for, to get your hands on this one, but at $599, that's less expensive than some of the other competing monitors out there in G-Sync or otherwise, right? So being able to get 25 by 14 IPS, um, really good color quality for 599 with support for variable refresh is going to be pretty cool. So we're excited to get a hold of this. It's the MG279Q. Thanks.